Hey guys, it's Erica. We are gonna be checking out Kepler's Wa Da Da dance practice, which I'm very excited to see the full choreography in this sort of way. This choreography, to me, based off my first reaction to the music video, um, and just what I saw through the music video, is it doesn't seem as complex. It's not a knife cut sort of thing. There's more sort of point move choreography that was very much second gen and third gen type choreography that everything had like a point move when you're talking about like this movement or like what da da, um, which I absolutely love. And I think the sort of feelings I have about the songs are feelings that I have towards sort of second gen and third gen type songs that match choreography moments like that with moments in the song that just have you addicted to the song because I'm like what da da everywhere I go. Um, but I'm very excited to get a better look at this and seeing what the choreography is giving us um, for this um, debut title track uh, and I am very excited so you know what it let go. Great starting formation. Nice. Nice transition. Nice. All about like circle imagery there. Just kidding, this shit is quick. Jesus Christ, the leg. That's why it's important to react to dance practices like this, because I'm seeing stuff the music video wasn't showing us. Love that moment. And I love that moment with the hands. Nice. Because now the choreography feels more of what's happening now, choreography-wise. Get it low. Nice. Super strong movements, which is nice to see for a group of choreography. Love that moment. But even still, a lot of moments. And even here. Their movements are super strong right here for that. Which isn't something you would think to expect to get strong movements for. Nice. Nice how they came in. Her hair, though. You see the way her hair flipped? Hairography. That's cool. I love that, the way they sort of spread out into the formation. Nice. Okay. That was nice. I love that. Jesus Christ. Wow. Wow. Oh, here's that floor work I wanted to see. Nice. Nice. It's nice to see. That's super cool. There's my diagonal. That was really nice transition to the diagonal. They're selling it. Or they get K pop groups love their diagonals. That was an interesting formation. That was like a seven almost. Or at least that's what it looked like for me. It could have not been, but it looked like the back row was in a line and then the rest were in a diagonal. That was interesting. Really amazing choreography. I really, really like it and stuff. What I will say is that I think it's really, really, there was that whole kind of to the dance break, to the outro. Um, there was a lot of ripples in there and stuff and roll up, roll ups or whatever. They're, both of them were in there. Um, but it's interesting to see girl groups do that for a floor work sort of moment because I don't think we've seen a girl group do that in a floor work moment in that way where they are like turning their own bridge, turning it over. And so which is a movement that is kind of now becoming very popular girl group choreography. Pixie did it. Um, well, they first did it with Wings when the they do that first part of the first chorus where it goes, ah, and then they sort of do that. And then they have um, it also in Bewitched. No, not be yeah, yes and be which well they that's a head. 
you're, they're not bridged. They're bridged with the head. They use their heads. They don't use their arms. Um, but also in Addicted is they do a bridge in that too as well. So that's what we're kind of seeing um, now kind of a lot in girl group choreographies, um, which is really cool. I like it. It's a cool shape. Hard to do. You got to be flexible for it. it. Requires a lot of out of a dancer and even to transition in and out of it is very difficult. Um, but that's really, really nice to see for like this type of... Um, choreography I kind of lost my train of thought because I go I went on about the bridges and now I'm just like what are we doing what are we talking about okay um anyways what I first initially thought seeing the music video is the choreography was a lot more cutesy it had a sort of bounciness to it it had the the girl groupness to it and stuff you know maybe like a, a eyes one type of thing that's the kind of only most recent girl group I can relate it to or like a oh my girl type thing you know what I mean um but seeing it here their movements are so strong which with this type of strength behind their movements isn't something we really ever get to see for a girl group you know some have more choreographies like everglows first a lot of pixie stuff have movements or or everglows first the entire choreography is definitely something you'd see a boy group do and pixie has there's moments where they do provide you with that strength but never this strong throughout the entire choreography like with this movement and a little bounce side to side i wasn't expecting that to have so much strength behind it when they do the movements and throughout the entire choreography and again the music video is only going to show you so much shots of the choreography so i do I, we saw again complex parts complex formations um but nothing like what this presents to us now that's why it, i find it important to react to dance practices um because of just like the fact that their movements are so strong they're so clean um which is nice to see girl groups dance with that sort of strength with the concept that kind of is cuter like what the da that's cute um, and it is nice again to, to, to just kind of get this from a girl group because I feel like even when you have the girl crush concepts that do provide a strong choreography or something you would definitely see a boy group do over this isn't something a boy group would do this is something a girl group would do and they're putting the strength behind their movements which is something that I love to see and that could that core every girl could, could maybe the course I would learn but the entire thing no super duper complex in the beginning and a lot of their shapes and their movements are relying on the other members when they create all these different circle shapes and circle formations and different circle imagery their pictures are gorgeous they're really stunning they're really dope and stuff they absolutely killed it and again they could just be putting this much effort behind like the dance practice and when the live performance you know you gotta turn, tone it down a little bit if you're singing and rapping and doing all this other stuff which is definitely something to note but here there was so much strength behind it which i love to see which i do hope translates into their live stages i don't know because i don't react to the live stages um and most of the time if i don't react to something there's a good chance i don't check it out on my own um just because girl this <laughs> this itself takes up so much more time and we adult in these days and adulting says life takes a lot out of you you know and takes a lot more of your time than just always react seeing and checking out every single thing that a group drops like i didn't even watch girls planet um but yeah but i love seeing this choreography i love seeing the type of choreography that it is and even again even if you do take away the strengths from their movements it is complex and it is super just amazing choreography i absolutely loved it i love seeing this go down for your thoughts and comments down below what you thought about uh kepler's wada da dance practice if you like this video give this video a thumbs up if you liked me and you want to see more of my videos go to hit that subscribe button if you want to see my videos the second they come out hit that notification button if you want to follow me social media twitter instagram snapchat tiktok or in the description down below or at the end screen share this video to your friends thank you guys so so much for watching love you and i'll talk to you guys later bye